like somebody might be in trouble, but I can't see anybody. Yeah, let's go in for a closer look. Who's Harley Payne? He's a prospector. I've ferried him into the bush lots of times. <coughs> Is he? Here you go. Ancora. Ancora Inlet. That's where I saw it, Jail. Saw what, Harley? Ancora Inlet. That's where I saw the unicorn. even for you. Yeah, I know, George. We ran into a complication. We found the killer whale carcass those fishermen spotted, took a cross-section of it, loaded it onto the plane. We were on our way back. It sounds like a great story. Tell me tomorrow I still have some last-minute preparations. This could possibly be the finest exhibit this aquarium has ever put together. Yeah, well, George, I may be a little late. I haven't been home yet, you know. Grant, I've invited some very important people to this opening. I'll be there. Dr. Roberts, you're requested in Donna's the waiting. I sent a cross-section ahead to the lab because J.L. and I had to go to the hospital. Hospital. After the accident, he lost all his gear, and then he ran out of food, and he tried to walk out. He walked for days, I guess. That's when we came into it. Very dramatic. I wonder if I should mention that at the opening tonight. The press like that kind of color. Would uh, this prospector be well enough to come along tonight? I don't know, George. He's still pretty out of it. He thinks he saw a unicorn. That should be enough. Yes. Yes, I can see how deep the puncture goes now. It goes right into the upper abdominal area in a perfectly straight line. Could it be a harpoon, Grant? I don't think so. You see how smooth the wound is? If it were from a harpoon, the puncture would be ragged. So what could it be? I don't know, Donna. It's very strange. The carcass was first spotted north of Rupert. If we can find out where it died, maybe we can figure out how. Right.
Hello? Anybody home? Hi, Jail. Jonah, Nicole, you ready? Down in a minute, Dad. Hey. You look great. Oh, thank you. Sorry I'm late. I stopped by the hospital. How is he? Oh, he'll be fine. He just needs to rest and get his strength back. No, Harley always did cut it close in the bush. I guess it finally caught up with him. He's still sticking to that wild story? Grant. Here, we keep oh. this. Oh. Harley Payne is no crackpot. He's, he's got a PhD in geology. He's as lucid as you and I. Maybe more. Well, J.L., he was exposed to the elements without food or water. The most rational person under those conditions could experience hallucinations. Nice talk, Dad. Who's got hallucinations? Yeah, I thought you were going to see a dead killer whale. Well, uh, I think you better ask J.L. about that. It was, uh, her friend who saw a unicorn. A unicorn? Up to you. I agree with Dad. A unicorn is crazy. Jonah, you have no romance in your soul. You both lack imagination. I think what she's really trying to say is that we're more practical. Sensible. Realistic. Boring. Or maybe just plain dull. Nature never ceases to amaze me. It's a wonderful exhibit you've put together, Doctor. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Mr. Dan. Thank you. I have a great staff. Do you know we Red have three? Jail. Hi. How do you rate it? Five stars. Let's take a look. Okay, we'll catch up with you later, Dad. Okay. Don, I got the autopsy report on that killer whale. It was alive three days ago. Hmm. That makes sense. I worked out the currents and figured it must have gotten attacked somewhere near Ancora Inlet. Ancora Inlet? That's where... Harley saw the unicorn. What? Grant, J.L. Uh, you can all talk shop later. Let me fill you in on who's going to be here. Excuse me, George. Just a minute. A narwhal. That's what Harley saw. The unicorn of the sea. He was right. We got these from a British expedition to the Arctic. Not much, but it'll give you an idea of our subject. Usually only the males have tusks, but none exist in captivity, and what we know about them wouldn't fill a magazine article. The tusk is actually a tooth. And occasionally they use it to fight with. That could be what caused the wound in the killer whale. George, you put those pieces together with Ancora Inlet, and what you have is the first ever Pacific sighting of a narwhal. Even if it was a narwhal, it's a long way from the Arctic. How'd it get there? Okay, suppose a narwhal got separated from his own kind. He falls in with a pod of belugas migrating south. They get just below Alaska, near Ancora Inlet. They're attacked by killer whales. The belugas scatter, the narwhal stands and fights and actually kills one of his attackers and finds his way into the inlet where Harley saw him. Oh, Grant, you're talking long shot. Even if he was there, there's no guaranteeing that he still is. We simply can't afford it. I'm not talking a major expedition. Just the North Star and a couple of crew. You know, George, it would be very prestigious for the aquarium. It's not just confirming the sighting, George. The narwhal's out of his habitat. He's lost, maybe hurt, maybe dying. We need to find out. I'm sorry. It's just too speculative. What I can't understand is that nobody is talking science, responsibility. Nobody's talking about compassion. All they're talking about is money. Grant, you have pushed George to the wall. You've lobbied every member of the aquarium board. You've even talked to the newspapers. What else can you do? J.L., it's out there. I know it. I can feel it. And there's got to be something we can do about it. Hello? Grant? Oh, hi, George. Your lobbying has paid off. A donor has offered to sponsor a five-day expedition to confirm the first specific sightings of an Arwell. George, that's incredible. However, the gentleman, Montgomery Dunn, wants to be part of the expedition. Well, that's OK. Tell him it's fine. Tell him it's great. Tell him thank you. George, I'll call you tomorrow. I want to get on this right away. Somebody's just donated the money for the expedition. We're on. 
All right. Oh, that is terrific. Amazing. Yes, I think it's very exciting. I thank you, Dr. Dunbar. You've made me a very happy man. Bye-bye. Why don't you go up and help Nicole unpack those? That's it. <clears throat> That's nice done. Ivory, isn't it? What's that? Yes. Yes, it is. I collect uh, rare things. Rare artifacts. Rare experiences. Like I hope this will turn out to be. My word is beautiful. Really beautiful. It'll be a miracle if we do see him. But we might be able to hear him. Reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, underwater listening devices, and if he is down there, the video sounder will show us where. It's an underwater tracking device. And we'll comb the inlet in a grid pattern and stop at the intersecting points to listen. Our narwhal will stay down deep where it's cool. And he has no dorsal fin, so if he does surface, he'll be hard to spot. So we should look for the tusk, right, Dad? Right. Jutting from the sea, like a sword. OK, let's get moving. Some sign. Maybe we're too late. Great. 
If we are too late, we should be combing the shores, looking for a carcass. I didn't say we should give up. Look, if we recover the carcass, at least we'll have something to show for our efforts. And no doubt it'll provide some useful scientific information for you. No doubt it would, Mr. Dunn. But as long as there's still hope, I'll do everything in my power to save him. Look! It sounds like we've got him. I'll check the other monitors below. He's moving away. Let's move with him. Hunter 1 to Hunter 2. Come in. Hunter 2 to Hunter 1. We made you. Hunter 2, we've made contact. I repeat, we've made contact. Wait for my signal, then execute the plan. him. I've plotted a continuation of the course he was on when we lost him. And I think we may have something. I think he's lost in there. He could be circling around, trying to find his way out. I think you're right. See, the entrance is shallow. Narwhals navigate with clicks like sonar. But at his depth, he's missing the exit. When do you think he'll pass this exit again? I figure he'll pass by in the next two or three hours. Can we use the narwhal sounds we recorded, broadcast them back at him, see if we can lure him out of here? That's a good idea. We can try it. But what if it doesn't work? It's too warm here. If we can't get him up and out of here, he'll die. Stationed at the opening of the inlet, we just re-established contact. Get ready to move in on the target. Over. Okay, Hunter One, we got you. Over. Who are you talking to, Dan? What do you mean? What are you talking about, Grant? Dad, there's a boat coming in fast. That answers my question. Who are they, Dunn? What are they after? They've got a harpoon. They're whalers, Dad. No, they're not whalers. This man is a collector. It's the tusk you're after, isn't it, Dunn? What difference does it make? He's going to die anyway. You said so yourself. Besides, Doctor, I paid for this expedition. For that service to science, I expect a small token of appreciation. One narwhal tusk. He won't let you take that narwhal. What can you do about it? Turn on the tape recorder quick, Nicole. They're closing in. Call them off, Dunn. It's working! Call them off, Dunn. We can save him. Please, Mr. Dunn, please! I'm sorry, I've waited a long time for this.
for this moment. Listen to him, John. This isn't a piece of ivory. This is a living being. Bear the melodrama, Doctor. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Listen to him, John. It's as mystical to me as it is to you. The priorities just happen to be different. That narwhal's tusk is a prized possession. It's worth fighting for. We're trying to save a life. That's the only thing that's worth fighting for. Stop them, Mr. Dunn. Please, stop them. Let's hope he makes it back to the Arctic. <laughs> 